morning, Haymack Learners. My name is Mrs. Blandon, and today we're going to be reading a story together. So this story is by Julia Donaldson and Alex Scheffler, and it's called The Snail and the Whale. And this story is about an unexpected hero. So as we're reading, I want you to think, who do you think the unexpected hero is, and why is it so unexpected? Also, while we're reading, we're going to be finding some words that rhyme. So for example, the word snail and the word whale rhyme. That means that they have the same sound at the middle and the end. They don't have the same letters, but that's okay because the sound is similar. Snail, whale. They both have the ale sound at the end. All right, let's get into the story. This is the tale of a tiny snail and a great big gray-blue humpback whale. This is a rock as black as soot. And this is a snail with an itchy foot. The sea snail slithered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships in the dock. And as she gazed, she sniffed and sighed. The sea is deep and the world is wide. How I long to sail, said the tiny snail. As we read the next page, we're going to see these words, flock, side, and trail. I want you to think what words on this page rhyme with them. Remember, words that rhyme have the same sound at the middle and the end. These are the other snails in the flock who all stuck together tight to the smooth black rock. And they said to the snail with the itchy foot, be quiet, don't wiggle, sit still, stay put. But the tiny sea snail sniffed and sighed, then cried, I've got it, I'll hitch a ride. And this is the trail of that tiny snail, a, a silvery trail that looped and curled and said, ride wanted around the world. This is the whale who came one night when the tide was high and the stars were bright, a humpback whale immensely long, who sang to the snail a wonderful song of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars in enormous waves. And this is the tale of the humpback whale. He held it out of the starlit sea and he said to the snail, come, sail with me. This is the sea so wild and free that carried the whale and the snail on his tail to towering icebergs and far off lands. with fiery mountains and golden sands. Does this remind you of anywhere you may have lived? I can think of some of my students from Cape Verde and Guatemala who might have had volcanoes and monkeys in their prior homes. This is the sky so vast and high, sometimes sunny and blue and warm, and sometimes filled with a thunderstorm with zigzag lightning flashing and frightening the tiny, the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. But then came the day the late whale lost his way. These are the speedboats running a race, zigging and zooming all over the place, upsetting the whale with their ear-splitting roar, making him swim too close to the shore. And this is the tide slipping away. And this is the whale lying beached in a bay. Quick, up the sand, back to sea, cried the snail. I can't move on land, I am too big, moaned the whale. The snail felt helpless and terribly small. Then she cried, I've got it, and started to crawl. I must not fail, said the tiny snail. This is the bell on the school in the bay, ringing the children in from their play. This is the teacher holding her chalk, telling her class, sit straight, don't talk. And this is the board as black as soot. And this is the snail with the itchy foot. A snail, a snail, the teacher turns pale. Look, said the children, it's leaving a trail. And this is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail saying, save the whale. These are the children running from school, fetching the firemen, digging the pool, squirting and spraying to keep the whale cool.
This is the tide coming into the bay. And these are the villagers shouting hooray and the whale and the snail travel safely away. Back to the dock and the flock on the rock who said, how time's flown and haven't you grown? And the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars in enormous waves and how the snail so, so small and frail with her looping, curling, silvery trail saved the life of the humpback whale. And then the humpback whale held out his tail and on crawled snail after snail after snail. And they sang to the sea as they all set sail on the tail of a gray blue humpback whale. Well, learners, I hope you enjoyed this story of this unlikely little hero. Who was it? The whale or the snail? That's right, it was the snail. What a tiny little animal and what a big impact he had. Have you ever felt like you were too small to help someone or do something important? This book gives us a good reminder that it doesn't matter how big or how small we are, um, but we can all make big changes in the world around us. So boys and girls, I hope you're staying safe and I hope you're enjoying your reading using Haymac Reads and other resources available to you. Stay safe and we miss you.